Howdy folks, DD Freighter here. Thought I'd do a little video this week on leather work. Uh, didn't get to it. Um, I'd like to do some editing with it and uh, haven't quite figured that out 100% yet. So I uh, decided to this morning do a quick video on uh, some tools that are good for loading black powder shotgun. Um, just to help some people out. Uh, a new YouTuber and uh, somebody that I met last fall at a cowboy auction match who's starting out posted a video. Uh, his name's Dusty Tucker. Uh, loading these Magtag, Magtech, sorry, shotgun shells. And uh, he did it the exact same way that I've done it, uh, except for a few things that I thought maybe could help him out and help out a few others. So um, one of the things that he mentioned was large pistol primers are the what you put into these and I modified this one to try to fit a shotgun primer so I don't remember what I used it was the closest one that I had and falls right out so uh, yeah as he says in his video they are modifiable but it doesn't necessarily work this measures 0.251 um, which is too big for that shotgun primer. Can't find it, but anyway, so, um, what he was having a problem with was punching out the primer, um, the large pistol primer. And when I started loading these, I was loading them exactly the same way. Um, but what I had was a small piece of wood with a hole in the center and, um, decapping pin from a set of lead eyes. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, so this decapping pin, I generally um, deprime my cases on a single stage press. In fact, this one here, or I've started using the Lee Breech Lock Pro because you can use it as a single stage or you can load the tubes and you can just crank off, take the rest of the dies out, or just put locking ring in the um, advance rod spot. And you can de-prime everything super quick. So what I did is I made this. There is one for shotgun, 4440, 45 Colt, 38 Special. Got a hole drilled in this end. It's where I put this when it's not in use so I don't lose it. But I suggest drilling a little hole here so that air gets in there because that's a pretty tight fit. Suction will get in there. And then I hogged out the inside here. I uh, used spade bits. And then I um, just chiseled the rest of it out. So basically, you take a 38 Special. I've got um, washers on here. You put them in the where the washer is. And it punches it out. If you're at a range, you're shooting black powder... And you want to get this into a hot bath, a soap and water bath. Quick and easy way to knock out your primers so that um, you can get the primer hole too, primer pocket. Same thing, this is a 4440. Just find your center, put it on that washer. One little bump and it's out. Uh, same thing with a shotgun. You center it on there. Um, find your primer, spent primer, knock it out, and then because this is all underneath here, all of your primers fall in under here, into the garbage they go, quick, simple, easy. Um, the way that I did these um, washers, I just countersunk a hole big enough for them to fit in. If you don't have the right uh, drill bit size, you can get close to, you can epoxy them in, whatever, you're good to go. Um, the other thing that I've got is um, if I load shotgun shells like these, and it's for a two and a half inch chamber gun, these aren't going to work. So I've done two things, and I can't find the one tool right now that I had intended to show. Right here, sorry, right in front of my face. So... This one's already been trimmed with the other tool I'm going to show you. 
Um, what I did, took a piece of galvanized pipe, black pipe, 12 gauge fits right inside, three quarter inch size, right? So you take this, take a knife, hold it with your thumb, and you can just trim these, and they're gonna come out fairly close to even. It's not 100%, but it's pretty close. And the other tool that I got, I used to have an old uh, classic style shotgun crimper. Found this one on uh, Amazon. The other one that I had was wore out, didn't necessarily work. So you can get this one and a couple of quick turns and it mounts to the bench. So I'm just doing this for, for uh, video sake. So you can see it rounds it off pretty quick and easy. So I can't remember, I think this was like $70. It took six weeks, it came from Russia. So, but it's it works super good. The other thing I made is this. It is a just a couple pieces of wood with a utility knife blade mounted in it with the back end of it rounded over where it hooks into the advance handle. Depending on what you want lengthwise, you can adjust this, but you have to have it on an angle so that when you put your wood or your uh, die shotgun shell in, you twist it. And simple as you please, you've now trimmed off that crimp. So if you got a two and three quarter inch, you don't have a, a lee. What direction am I wanting to go here? Right there, a Lee Load All 2 for shotgun. You can do this. And then with this, everything's slick, uh, works good. I don't always reuse the shells, depending on the shell, a double A hull. You can load black powder more than once. These plastic ones, they you can't. They're pretty much one time throw away. They'll either um, burn through or they'll crack. Um, so there's a couple of quick tools. Um, this, I just sandwiched that piece of uh, um, utility knife blade in between there. You pretty much, you have to round this so that if you've got a full long case, as you're curling, it doesn't get in the way up here of where you're, where you're going. Um, that's about all I've got for today. These are just some quick tools I made when I started out cowboy action match uh, shooting for black powder. Um, my wife is very, very much into it. I tend not to shoot it as much when she's shooting four guns. I'm cleaning every match. Um, eight guns we've done in the past. It gets to be a quite a long day. So hopefully that helps out a few people. Um, go check out Dusk Dusty's page. I'll uh, his channel there, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks.